Hello, and welcome to the second video in our Evaluating a Connected Learning Programs and Spaces video series. My name is Tim Podkel, and I'm a senior researcher with SRI International, and I've had the pleasure of partnering with the University of California, Irvine, and uh, University of Colorado on this project. And I'm Josie Chang Order, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Colorado Boulder. Today, we're going to be talking about outcomes understanding which specific outcomes you, your funders, or your administrators are most interested in helps you work backwards to develop a theory for designing or improving programs. Therefore, we think that this is the first step in creating a new evaluation tool. And it's extremely important to be very specific throughout this process. One of our other library partners at Multnomah Public Library, Lindsay Runyon, wanted to demonstrate that the makerspace is a place where teens can go and actively engage with other teens and adults in pursuing their interests. The library also wants to show that the microspace provides access to tools that support interest discovery and development. So the main outcomes that they wanted to see at Multnomah were increased interest, increased confidence, and increased skills. But these are pretty abstract ideas that are hard to measure. Do your patrons self-report that they're more interested than last time? What does that mean, and what does that tell you about what to do next time? So we worked with our Multnomah library partner to develop more and more specific ways of first understanding if program participants are increasing their interest in the topic. And these are some of the indicators that Lindsay came up with that help her understand the different ways that participants are demonstrating that they're interested. Increased attendance, demonstrated curiosity, connecting learning to other spheres, demonstrated emotional investment, tinkering with something new. When we did this workshop for the Los Angeles Public Library, these are the outcomes that the librarians came up with. You'll see that interest is a pretty common outcome that librarians want to know about. But there are some unique examples of branch or program specific outcomes as well, such as teen council involvement increasing. You can also note the difference between institutional outcomes, such as participant engagement, versus some of the learning outcomes, such as early literacy skills. It's important to consider how broad or specific these outcomes are compared to the examples of, from Multnomah and how easy or hard it would be to evaluate them in your setting. For today's video, we asked our other library partners at Anythink and LAPL, what are some outcomes that you are evaluating and why are these important for you to understand? So the question is, uh, what are some outcomes that you are evaluating and why are these important for you to understand? Um, so I guess I'm just going to talk about a program that we had recently that was a STEAM program. And at the end of it, um, instead of handing out the surveys, we did a talkback board where um, the kids lined up and uh, we were asking them questions like, did you learn something today? Did you do something you want to pursue? And I feel with the talkback board, the, the output that you're getting uh, feels truer. You're, when, you're, when you're verbalizing them to reflect upon a thing in a general way, they're able to really uh, begin to think about, you could see the kids really thinking about, did I learn something today? And they're reflecting upon what new things that I do. And I feel like it reinforces a lot of the things that I just come over because when you're asking them whether or not they learned something, um, they really do want to think about it. They really want to see whether or not um, they did, and most kids answered yes, but some answered no, and I feel like you're getting a truer uh, reflection of the kind of measurements that you want to do. And while one talk backboard is not going to measure anything, just as one set of surveys won't measure anything, over time you can begin to see where the different clusters in the talk backboard are constantly arriving. Is it low in learning things, but is it high in the fun factor? or uh, Whatever the measurables that you want to do, you can find them using the talkback board. Do you want to learn, uh, do you want to know why uh, people are not coming back to the library? You can use a talkback board and you can have different elements saying the library is too dirty, the library parking lot is too full. You can have various elements and you can kind of track over time um, you know, various things that you want to know about the patron uh, population and to how best serve them. Um, and so I feel like that's that's one of the things that I really like about the TalkBack board is that um, you can you can reconfigure 
you can figure out what it is that you want to find out. And then over time, I feel like you will get answers that are pretty closely reflecting uh, the truth, like, you know, the nebulous truth per se. My name is Mo Yang. I'm the studio coordinator with Anything Libraries. Currently, we have two main types of evaluations that we do in this space. The first one is a staff reflection. Essentially, every day, uh, my staff will do a reflection of what they've observed throughout the day, what they experienced throughout the day. And then the other side of it is the customer facing uh, surveys that we do. Uh, very specifically, we do customer surveys uh, after a program. And we also have something that we call talkback boards. Now talkback boards are amazing because what they do is they allow customers to really interact with the information and give a really quick response that's very genuine. And that's also at the same time very guided, uh, allowing us to really understand what their needs are, what their motivations are, and what we're doing and what we could do better. Between now and our next video, we'd like you to write in two or more specific outcomes that you would like to evaluate. We really want to encourage you to be specific and come up with some other outcomes besides interest. Next time, we will talk about how to turn these outcomes into practical measures for collecting data. Thanks for watching.